Hi everybody, it's January 4, 2018. I was sent, or uh, a subscriber left this link in a comment below one of my videos. The Truth Nevada Indictments Not. I will link below to this woman's video here where she is talking about these unsealed indictments and people are so, I don't know what it is about hope that even when it's false, so many people just want to believe something that is so unbelievably not true. Here, this is the court document that they're passing around as real. This is not real. I'm sorry, guys. You know, um, and I, I just can't waste my time on these anonymous sources, QAnon, you know, so many people posting videos and they spending like an hour and a half, you know, talking amongst themselves and claiming that what they have is 100% proof positive, proof positive that Q is real and everything's going to be working out. Don't worry, sit back, do nothing, do nothing, and just feel good about information that you're receiving that is so speculative regarding the QAnon, but regarding these indictments, people believing that Dick Cheney, John Brennan, John Ashcroft, Robert Mueller, you can read the names, I'm not even going to waste my time reading the names, that they have been arrested, that now we have this court case in Nevada in the United States District Court for the Northern District of Nevada, and well, maybe a whole lot of people don't know the difference between a real court document and a clearly fake court document, but this is clearly fake. Clearly fake. And then I'm hearing that people are saying that apparently there's a lot of planes going down to Guantanamo and on Flight Tracker, what is it, Flight Tracker 44 or something? Well, those planes are not being tracked. They're unidentified. And then people are saying that Hillary Clinton and, and Barack Obama have been arrested and they're brought to Guantanamo. You know, other people saying that Obama's house was raided, a house that he has on, I don't know, some island or something. Who are these people saying this? We don't know. We don't know. Just sources that we have to believe. And, you know, I'm seeing videos of people that I respect saying all of this stuff and it's very very upsetting because you know <laughs> the bottom line is that this country has been taken over it was taken over a long time ago and we are going down we are at war and so when these things periodically erupt in social media and everybody you know you see these videos they get 150,000 views. Yay! Yay! Finally, something's going to happen and people are getting arrested. Finally. And it's all just not true. And yeah, I am firmly cemented in reality. So, the reality is pretty grim. The reality is that nobody is going to fix it but you. No one is going to bring, bring change unless you change. And I can't, I, I can't get outside of that reality. I think what happens is people hear these kinds of things and then they can relax. They don't have to do anything. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work out fine. All right. So they didn't do anything over the holidays because, well, Americans were celebrating the holidays. Tis the season. Oh, don't want to. Don't want to upset Americans. Or they're slowly releasing all of this information because, well, Americans, they're, they're children, and you can upset them easily, so you got to slowly, you know, deliver this information, and it's like, oh my God, are you kidding me? It, 
all of the people who are watching these videos, with people talking about QAnon and people talking about these indictments and people talking about, you know, Obama and Hillary Clinton being flown down to Guantanamo. That's why they're, they're, uh, these planes are, you can't identify them on these tracking sites. Really? Really? Are we really that childlike to believe this stuff? Look, I'll link below to this video as well. Bogus indictments and disinformation in the truth community. Hey everybody, let's get off to a good start and shed some light on some things that out there that I believe is disinfo. There's a widely spread story going out there right now about some indictments, 9-11 indictments, of people such as Richard Cheney, John Brennan, Ashcroft, John Kerry, well, the list goes on and on. Obama, the Bushes. And I'll leave the link to this document in the description. And I uh, sent this out to some legal experts, and the consensus was this is a bogus document, a bogus story. Some more disinfo going out in the so-called truth community, and it's quite alarming. Let's go on with this, folks. A couple of observations with this. Judge Hardesty is not a federal judge. Number one, he sits on the Supreme Court, the Nevada Supreme Court. There is no legitimate cause or case number on this document. There's no signatures. There's no seals. Okay, so there are very obvious indicators on that document that, unfortunately, those who have been reporting on this, they either missed it or they're just part of the disinformation or maybe they do want views. I don't know. You know, when you post videos that give out an awful lot of hope, but hey, it's false hope, but who cares, right? You get an awful lot of views. But it does. The, the effect is, oof, good. Finally, something's going to happen. So you go about your business, you feel better for a while. And then these things just fade away. And then you go back to reality. It sucks. Okay. Yep. It hurts. It hurts to watch all of these, you know, happenings and all of this destruction. It hurts to see individuals being destroyed, their homes being destroyed. It hurts especially when you are living it. But it is absolutely 100% reality that if you want change, you have to be that change. You've got to do the work to change. Trump ain't going to fix it. Look, it, it, Trump, still, I get comments from people. You're wrong about Trump. Well, okay. What is he doing about vaccines? When he was campaigning, he was talking about vaccines, and he was going to uh, he was going to establish a commission to look into vaccines. Has he done that? No. What is he doing about the geoengineering? All of the toxic chemicals and the heavy metals and no doubt biologicals that are being sprayed down upon us, and so many people are sick. What is he doing about that? Nothing. What is he doing about all of the frequencies. No, he will be rolling out 5G because, oh, 5G. Well, I posted a video on it. It's a national security priority. 5G, get it rolled out. And, you know, Trump, he may very well be the president that brings about the war with Iran. He, buddy buddy with Netanyahu, 100% support to Israel. Another evil, evil, small empire, but they wield an awful lot of power. No, Trump is not going to fix it. 
he was going to be uh, ending these unnecessary wars. Afghanistan, Iraq, the war has escalated. He comes into office and within days he's bombing Syria. He's killed more innocent people with his drone strikes than Obama did in his eight years. I hear from people who say Trump is a good Christian and I look at them and I think they're out of their minds. They are out of their minds. To associate Christ with Trump? We really have to reevaluate how we think and, and the purpose of those thoughts. What is, what, what, what makes you gravitate to information that you cannot find any kind of support for? You know, what, what, because it makes you feel better, but it's not real. The only thing real is what you do in your own communities. The only thing real is the change that you can bring about within your own self. And if that change just means to live the principles that you speak, to be the change that you want to see so an awful lot of people do not like lies, then you've got to live honestly, you've got to speak honestly, and you have to, in your own relationships, within your own community, be that force that begins to bring back real community. Be that force that begins to establish trust. Because without that foundation, we're nowhere. Nowhere. We will always lose. Be a power of example for other people by how you live your life. You want to see more people talking about what's happening in this country? That means you've got to talk about what's happening in this country. You want to see more courageous people out there? That means you have to be courageous. You want the lying to stop? It means you have to be honest. And if more and more people really began to live the principles that they speak, the ripple effect would be positive. But sitting back, listening to these people promote this false hope, and you getting carried away with it, it's your, well, it's kind of like going to Disneyland. Enjoy the fantasy. Have fun. And just hope, I guess, that it all comes to be real. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. The links are blocked.